you would imagine they're going to be extremely volatile, right? Because even things like elections coming and people getting elected who aren't going to be friendly to the environment or so many factors, you know, so many things could affect those kind of weightings, right, as well. So there's opportunity there, but do you see a lot of volatility as well in those areas? I do, but I see it for a different reason. If you take an index of clean energy companies, the majority of them are unprofitable. They actually don't make money. It's the speculation that as policies are adopted and what's going on as we speak in Glasgow and everything else, that eventually these companies will be profitable. And it requires government assistance, which always to me adds risk because right now you've got a you know, pro-environment government in a matter of 18 months, you may not. My own personal philosophy is I hate partnering with government, any government, anywhere, because they, they contort the market based on policy mistakes and governments change all the time and politicians have no accountability. They're not bad people, but the game has never been to be good investors. Governments, any time government, in my view, uh, taxes an economy, a third of it gets wasted. Having said all that, um, the policy trend seems to be towards green energy, which makes you be very cautious in traditional hydro, uh, hydrocarbon uh, structure that money is flowing into green energy indexes, but I anticipate some really heavy volatility based on politics, and many of the companies will fail. They'll never find an economic model that makes sense.